piece of paper into two. This is for you to get accurate measurements on both sides of the paper when you open it up. From the edge of the paper, you measure one inch. Then from this line, you measure your sleeve length. From this same line, you measure your bicep. Mine is five, so I'm marking five inches. So you label it. You measure your elbow line. The length of your elbow, mine is 12.5. So I'll be marking 12.5. So on this is your bicep line, you take the circumference of your bicep, mine is 13. So I'll be marking 13 divided by 2, which is 6.5. So I'll mark 6.5 here. The circumference of my elbow is 11 inches, so divided by 2. So I'll have 5.5 inches. I'll mark that. Then on my wrist line, the circumference of my wrist is 9 inches so 9 divided by 2 i have 4.5 so i'll be marking 4.5 then i will join the lines together i'll be adding allowance so i'll be adding one inch allowance all through i'll be adding my seam allowance to the wrist line so i'll be adding one inch i will cut this out So I will open it up to see what we have. So here is what we have. Here is the center of my line. So making a triangle to the edge of this line I just cut. So I will mark half of this line. I will do the same on the second side too. From this half mark I'll divide it into two again I'll do the same here so now you choose the side you want for your front or your back so I'll be using this for my front and this is my back so I've labeled this so on the first one from here I'll be coming up by 0 0.75 inch on this line here I'll be coming up by 0 0.25 inch on the last line I'll be coming down by 0 0.25 inch I'll join the points together that's it so now let's come back to this back line from here I'll be going up by 0 0.5 inch then here I'll be coming up by 0 0.25 inch and here I'll be coming down by 0 0.25 inch or connect the lines together all right so that is what we have here so I will cut out this this pattern has been so 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 helpful Give it a notch so that when you are cutting it on your fabric you'll be able to differentiate which one is back which one is the front so i'll be putting one thick line here just to indicate that this is the front and two thick lines here just to indicate that this is the back so that's it guys it's very very simple so you have your basic sleep pattern so I hope you try it and give me a feedback. Thank you for watching guys. I love you. Bye. See you in my next video.